Well, last fall I put on a pretty heavy blanket on my square bed of shredded leaves, but these leaves were not shredded as finely as I usually have, and so they are going to take longer to compost. And then the spring, my husband was nice enough to pick me up a big bunch of rabbit poo, and I put that on top. And the rabbit manure has a lot of hay or straw because they were using that for the rabbits too. So kind of let me show you what's happened. So we have this on top and kind of sticks together. And then you got to bury down and then see you're getting all the leaves. And it's a ways till you get to the soil. And it has compacted a bit. Okay, right here I planted my peas, oh, maybe 10 days ago. And I tried to work up the soil a bit, but I don't think I did as good a job as I should have. And, you know, seeds only work if you plant them in soil. You can't plant them in pure compost and leaves. So I'm going to wait till the end of the week and see if more peas pop up. Otherwise, I'll be doing a replanting here. So I tried using just this, but can you see it's only getting up the top layer, really? It's not getting up into the soil. So I went online and thought, hmm, is there something I can find that will be better? And this is what I found. So this is what I ordered. It is the Lewis Tool Yard Pan Tiller Butler. And you can see it has six of these spikes here. This is where your foot will rust. And then this is the handle. And the idea is you put it in the soil in twist and lift. And in so doing, you're going to be mixing up your soil. Now, like I said, I usually don't till my soil because I don't want to disturb those uh, earthworms that are doing a great job kind of composting everything and leaving their droppings. But in this case, when I'm planting smaller seeds, I find I'm going to need to till the soil a bit or my seeds won't grow. You know, it's fine for my established plants that I started in the house and now have moved outdoors. But for something like beet seeds or even lettuce, I need to till it up a bit. So let me show you how it works. So you just put it in the soil this way, down here. And you know what? I should have my other glove on because you can get blisters real easy doing this. But you're just turning it. Which, look at how compact it is. Can you see that? That took a bit of a strength here. And then up. So just going to keep on repeating this. And can you see it's lifting up stuff from the bottom? Now, if you had a big garden area to do, um, this would be pretty labor intensive. But, you know, regular gas-powered tillers just don't really usually work in a raised bed like this. So you have to come up with something else. There we go again. Now after I do that, let me show you how I mix it up. So then I take my tool that I absolutely love and I use this all the time. But then I just go in, see how easy it is now, bringing up the black soil. So much easier than trying to use that little hand rake. Yep, nice black soil under that. Well, let me be back when I get this done and I'll plant some peas. So I fluffed this soil up with my hands a bit. That way I'm mixing it in. And then I kind of tried to even it out a little with this. So now I'm ready for planting. I think it should do well. There's plenty of soil in between the straw and the leaves. And this is a square foot gardening template that I use. Um, I have a video on it if you're interested. going to be planting some snow peas here. Let's put it here. The 
This just makes it easy to space them correctly. Which is good because my eye is not the best for that. And then I just push them in a little. Make sure they're covered up good. These go down a bit. And really, that's all there is to it. Now, if you just have a dirt area you want to work, it works well too. Push it down, and then you turn it. So, if you're making a fresh area for gardening, this will also work well. Or if you're making a flower bed, this will work well. Well, I forgot to mention that this yard butler is made out of steel. It's probably almost, I don't know, four and a half, five pounds. It's very well made. I'm sure it'll last my lifetime. Not sure about yours. Um, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. And this costs under $25. If you want to buy it on Amazon, I have a link below. But anyway, I'd love to know what you use if you have the problem I do in a raised bed, or have you used the garden butler? Or I should call it the yard butler. Thanks for watching. As always, please share and subscribe. Thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.